Hi beloved hearts, this is Enrita Melchizedek and I'd like to welcome you to this beautiful month of August and in particular to share more about this powerful 8-8 Lion's Gate that of course reaches its pinnacle on August the 8th but it has been open since July the 26th. So many of us are really experiencing this gateway activation, the light codes activating from within and of course so much more being expressed through the unity grid of divine love, this grid of light that we are and that we connect into as awakened souls, as one heart, as the beloved I am presence. And what we are experiencing then in this now moment are merging timelines particularly of ancient Egypt but simultaneous to this, we've had a lot of the energy coming through of divine feminine timelines because this gateway is primarily in some way a more masculine energy. It's connected into Syrian consciousness and the Syrian higher self aspects of ourselves are so much about power. And we've been expressing and chatting about that in these um, last few months coming deeper into that Syrian consciousness into deeper levels of stepping up in that power, the masculine aspects, which are also the doing aspects of ourselves. So merging timelines occur all the time, multidimensionally. We just move through these in collectives. And the timeline that we've all been experiencing prior to the Syrian consciousness, ancient Egyptian gateway has been the Avalon timelines. And the Avalon timelines has been a very deep integration of the divine feminine aspects of ourselves and also deepening into the divine masculine. So we've experienced in greater levels of clearing from the heart, the heart expanding, the nurturing, the loving from a soul perspective. This is all about the photonic light activating, moving into zero point. And zero point takes us into that photonic light energy soul frequency where everything is not only expanded but it moves slowly although the consciousness quickens so we just really allow that time that energy to deepen into that connection that we have with mother earth to deepen into that connection we have with nature and um, really just to love to love ourselves and to love others and this gateway now brings through just an absolute incredible sense of stepping into our power or releasing and collapsing the lower dimensional timelines and having the courage to step up and deeper into our heart streaming and service work. It's really a moment where we walk between worlds, where we have the choice to continue to perpetuate the lower dimensional frequencies and timelines or to elevate the consciousness, raise the frequency and vibration of the body and energy field so that we can step truly collectively into new earth as one heart and one love. So this lion's gate is symbolically represented by the energy of the two lions. We have the lion of yesterday and we have the lion of tomorrow. And this then again comes back to those choices. The line of yesterday is all the living in the past. It's the feelings and the corresponding emotions that take us back into the parallel timelines and the looping of those timelines until we truly release. From our human perspective, the neg negative ego perspective, we're always holding on so very tight. And from the multidimensional perspective, we experience Expanding, we're collapsing those timelines, we're dissolving what needs to be dissolved, and we're shifting energetically into higher dimensional fields of light. And so this timeline then that's presenting through this incredible zero point field of light and this 8A gateway as the sun aligns to the sign of Leo and also to the sun and to the sun behind the sun, which is Syrian consciousness and the great central sun, we move into some of the initiations and trainings that we experienced in ancient Egypt. And one of these we call the golden sun and the flower of life is zero point activation. 
and this golden sun and flower of life zero point activation is really one that we utilized for not only the expansion of our own frequency and light and to shift dimensionally but also we use this when we connect it into the unity grid of divine love and working with the nodal points of the unity grid and the particular sacred geometries that presented primarily the stellated dodecahedron to be able to shift the consciousness of this planet and to allow for that possibility and potentiality of all life to ascend on the sacred earth. So what we do then is that we take ourselves into the breath initially as we always do but we focus on the loving heart and we visualize this beautiful single point of golden light within the heart and as we breathe in we just start with the visualization of this golden point in the activation of the stargate of the loving heart and then what we do is we hold the breath and as we hold the breath we visualize these dancing auroras of colors possibly sound even sacred geometry and as we breathe out we expand this golden sun so expanding it initially within the loving heart is the energy of the christed frequency or the christed child or the beautiful soul light whatever we would like to experience in that expression of it's really the innocence of the loving purity of our soul light that is activating and as we express that outwards we then feel that deepening connection to our innocence and our purity but also in that alignment that we start to feel to the sun to the sun behind the sun or Syrian consciousness and to the great central sun to the heart of mother father God and we continue this breath usually for seven breaths we'll be breathing in we're holding the breath and we're releasing and as we're releasing we're expanding that golden sun until it becomes this beautiful golden sphere and it's a very organic flow feel that is starting to be experienced in these dancing lights around this golden sun and when we then have a sense of the heart expanding we bring the focus to the pineal gland and we do this exact same breath initially where we visualize this golden point of light and from this golden point of light as we hold the breath we start to visualize colors and sacred geometries and as we expand this golden light we see it as a golden halo around the crown and head area and we will get a sense when we do this correctly or over time with practice of this golden light actually expanding it's like an illumination of the wisdom and simultaneous to this it's the expression of the activation of the pineal gland that's bringing through the ancient memories and the timelines of self-mastery that are merging into this now then we move into that breath working with particular lines of intersection initially in the pineal gland too to get a deepening sense of the activation of the pineal gland the breath once more when we breathe in and hold the breath and then release what we're also doing is breathing through the cerebrospinal fluid and allowing that to create pressure upon the pineal gland because that is also activating the pineal gland the golden sun the diamond light within the pineal gland and what we do then with these three lines of intersection is we again start to visualize from within the pineal gland and these three lines that intersect the primary one is connected to the antikarana the fluorescent tube of light as it comes down through the body and it comes down from the soul star chakra down the crown through the pineal gland down the spine out the perineum center into the earth chakra center then we have the second line that crosses coming from the front of the third eye through the pineal and out the back of the third eye and the third line that crosses comes from the top of the left ear across to the top of the right ear and then we start to once more visualize 
this golden point within the pineal gland. And as we hold the breath, we start to get a sense of different geometries. And as we expand that as a golden halo on the out breath, simultaneous to that, we receive not only the activation through the third eye of these ancient memories, but in this instance, the Syrian higher self is merging. So we experience the sacred geometries and scrolls of light activating from within the third eye. And we further use the same breath to utilize and work with the Ankh because the symbol of the Ankh is the expression of the immortality. But what we understand is the spiritual ascension and then the physical ascension. So the spiritual ascension is shifting our consciousness and holding our consciousness at those dimensional fields of light that we wish to enter into. And the physical ascension that commences following the integration and embodiment of the galactic consciousness and Syrian consciousness is really where we take our physical body into the fifth dimension. So we're living physically in the fifth dimension, not just in the consciousness aspects of ourselves. And that's why it's so very important to work with the density within the body, because our physical bodies are temples of light in which we do experience new earth. Once we then get a sense of how the Ankh activates and what we do with the Ankh is that we use the same breath by breathing up, we visualize the bottom of the Ankh up into the pineal and then we see the top part of the Ankh actually crossing over the head from the back of the third eye to the front of the third eye and as it crosses over it connects into a Syrian portal of light 2.4 feet above the crown and comes back into the third eye and then it extends from the front to the back of the third eye and then from the left to the right of the um, third eye and around to the side of the ears. So that's the shape then we use and when we get that sense of activating at the physical level the crystals within the body, the subatomic particles spinning in that crystalline light, then what occurs is we start to create the energy of the flower of life. And the flower of life is really a ninth dimensional frequency that is our innocence, our purity in full embodiment, living new earth. And some say too that this is a galactic frequency connecting us to our Turian higher selves. So when we are experiencing then the ability to activate this flower of life, what we do is that we actually travel through each of the dimensions working with specific sacred geometry organically and we work through the platonic solids and we initially are using the lower chakras as the lower dimensions for quite some time within the physical body so we're looping back into the base chakra the survival issues perhaps abundance or lack of abundance issues into the sacral we're finding then that sense of uh, sacred sexual energy but also the healing of karmic relationships or wounds and also then moving into the solar plexus where we are looking at all our relationships and then we're moving into the heart and the higher chakras representing the higher dimensions but each one spins in a specific Fibonacci ratio and holds a specific geometry although all geometries exist simultaneously and what we start to do is work through these Fibonacci ratios and work through and integrate and expand these geometries around the body until we can get to that point of utilizing this beautiful golden flower of life ninth dimensionally which expands 54 feet into amateur around us and this is also related to the ascension vehicle or light body Merkaba field that we utilize to enter into the fifth dimension and beyond. So it's all a very powerful moment where we experience the aspects of our multi-dimensional selves merging into this now and the ability to not only merge deeper into the feminine masculine aspects and amplify the Christed light 
but to draw to us the potentiality of our highest alignment and trajectory in this moment through the zero point field of light. And what we then do is that we utilize this flower of life within the golden sun when we move back into these breaths and we start to breathe and as we breathe and expand we see this golden sun within the flower of life and this golden sun within the flower of life then becomes a healing tool that we utilize for ourselves and that we utilize for others where we can visualize it in any part of the body any organ body part through the chakras um, and we can utilize it also for the healing or the elevation of the consciousness of others and we also utilize it within the unity grid so when we have experienced then the ability to integrate this field of light that holds the sacred geometry of the flower of life ninth dimensionally for us in ancient egypt it was the experience of what we call energetically the cold flames of the flower of life within the halls of amenti because it brought through the plasma light energy and that plasma light went into the blood initially amplified that and it felt like a very your body gets very cold for a while and that plasma light rejuvenates and regenerates along with the photonic light, the solite, to create the geometries, the sound and color frequencies through the light codes that accelerate that physical body ascension, that which we call the resurrection codes or the immortality codes. And they, we then connect it into the unity grid working on the nodal points the nodal points of each intersecting line of the specific sacred geometries in this instance the unity grid which is that of the stellated dodecahedron and we worked with the andarian consciousness to experience this so we utilize the energy of the Andara crystals, which take us multi-dimensional because they are monatomic. They merge the multi-dimensional timelines into unity consciousness. So we could experience them being the unity field and this deep sense of oneness with all life, with our soul brothers, soul sisters, star families, galactics, angelics, but with every single soul. And we would fine tune these frequencies and energies from within the unity grid as our gatekeeper, grid keeper, light work. So it's a very powerful energy technique, this golden sun and flower of life zero point activation that we utilized in every area of our beautiful light work and souls blossoming magnificence and really just fine tuning the energy for all life upon this sacred earth. So I invite you to join us in this incredible masterclass that we're going to have on the golden sun and flower of life zero point activation. So we look forward to seeing you and from my heart and to yours and to the cosmic heart of all creation. Blessings in love. Namaste.